Time for a quick market review. As you can see, markets have rebounded a lot, but now they're turning around a little bit. And as you'll see in our review, that's kind of the type of market we're gonna have to deal with for the foreseeable future. And of course, all our research is coming from MacroOps, our global macro research and consulting firm. And the first thing we wanna look at is breadth. And breadth is measuring how many stocks in the general index are going up versus how many are going down. So you wanna see a lot of stocks rising together to know that a market has strong internals. Now in our case, after we've seen this prolonged down move in the markets, we're gonna expect that breadth is pretty bad. And sometimes breadth gets so bad that it's actually good. And that's because of mean reversion, which is one of the three driving factors of market technicals. The other two are trend and momentum. And honestly, trend and momentum are a little bit of the same thing. So a good example to explain this is just moving averages. You see how stocks and indexes move, right? They move up and then they come back down to that moving average and then bounce. So if you look long term, what's the trend here? It's up, right? But within that trend, you're getting a lot of mean reversion back to the mean, which is the moving average. The average, the mean, the same thing, right? That's why you see that. So within the larger trend, you get the mean reversion as well. And you could also see it on the downside too from a larger time frame. So if the market is going straight down like this, you're going to get periods of time where it rebounds and calms down a bit. But the overall trend might be down. Now, if we look at the NASDAQ, the percent of stocks trading above their 50 and 200 day moving averages fell to 20% two weeks ago. That's a very low reading and the market bottoms soon after. Because again, mean reversion, right? So many stocks are down, you're going to get a bounce back up. So short term, this is bullish. That's kind of why we've seen this movement, right? But long term, this is bearish because it is weak breath. So as you can see from this chart, there's a good deal of energy built up for mean reversion to drive this index higher over the short term, but it's not a pretty picture over the long term. So that's kind of what we saw here, right? A short term rebound and things are turning around a bit now, which is what you could kind of expect in this market because it looks like we're gonna go sideways for a while. Sentiment and positioning have been a tailwind to the bulls as of late. So the chart right here is aggregate commercial hedger positioning, which is near record longs, meaning the specs are very short. So there's a lot of gunpowder for those shorts to reverse their position. Another thing that's interesting is that we're seeing a great convergence between services and durable goods. So consumer demand for services and experiences are going up while there's a slowdown in demand for goods, which should help ease up pressure on supply chains as well as inflation. Another interesting thing to consider is that U.S. equities are pretty rich right now. So the share of household financial assets invested in stocks ending in 2021, it was at the highest extreme in history. The last two times we got close, the S&P lagged bonds for the next 13 to 18 years. Another thing to consider is with everything that happened in Russia and Ukraine, we're probably starting a new secular bull in defense spending. And this is a good chart right here showing that defense spending has fallen consistently in the post-World War II world, but recent events are likely a turning point. And these are all the different countries across the world spending more on defense. Leonardo, which is an Italian-based defense contractor, will be a big beneficiary of this trend. So they sell into markets across the EU, UK, and the United States. The stock is currently very cheap and it's broken out of a major triangle bottom, which you can see right here, this nice chart broke out. So it has some good catalysts coming down the pipe to drive improved growth and margins. So this is one that we're keeping on our watch list. If you look at FANG stocks such as Facebook, block order flows do not paint a pretty picture for it. Block order flows is this tan line right here and you can see it pretty much preceded the sell off. And you can see here the selling just continues. Not good for Facebook, which has already been crushed. The same thing's happening with Amazon. The whales are dumping their holdings and passing those shares to future bag holders. So big tech is not in favor right now. Again, this tan line is going down down, this will likely follow the green line, which is Amazon. Now, when we're in a tricky market like this, it really pays to honor your stops and honor your strategy. You're going to want to take profits when you can and just hold fast through this type of sideways market. And if you don't have a solid strategy in place to do that, then make sure you check out our free training. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. But this training will teach you our exact strategy to make it through markets like this. So go ahead and sign up for that training and I will see you inside.